If you watch shows and movies on a computer that's hooked up to a TV, you've probably ran into the issue of how to control the computer. You can use a wireless keyboard and mouse if you want, but it's kind of unwieldy and tracking with a mouse on a couch is kind of hard. There are some keyboard options that incorporate a trackpad into the keyboard, which solves one problem, but then also introduces the problem that you can't really game and do other tasks that require specifically a mouse. When bringing this up to my friend, he reminded me that consoles have a great remote, a controller. Then after using the software joy to key to play a game that didn't have controller support, I realized that I could use the software to make pretty much the perfect controller. So if you want to see how you can use a normal wireless controller to control your computer, uh, stick around. So what is Joytiki? Joytiki is a software that lets you map controller keys to keyboard keys. A great usage of this is, as I said before, to use controllers in games that don't natively support controllers. You can actually download the software for free. So this right here is the Joytiki interface. I started by making a profile called Media Control, and I started making the key bindings. So just as a quick tutorial, I'm going to map this button right here to the F key so that I can go to full screen in YouTube videos. So first, I'm going to connect the controller, and then I can press the key that I want to bind. As you can see, it uh, highlights the button, so I can double click on it, and this opens up the assignment window. So right here, uh, usually it'll look like this, right? And then uh, if I just want to press the F key, I just click right here and then press F. I can also do that for any other key. So if this wants to be backspace, back, you can press backspace or any other letter. But right now we just want to have F and then we can say OK. So now say I go to a video go here and then I want to full screen it. I can just click this key right here and it goes into full screen. Now with that little tutorial out of the way, let's go on to some of the key mappings. So first, let's start with the mouse controls. So just to mouse around the screen, I use the left analog stick. So as you can see, I'm moving this around and the cursor is moving around the screen. Joyda key makes this really easy. So as you see, when I go like this, it highlights all of these rows right here, which correspond to left, right, up, down of this analog stick. And when I go into this, I can just go in over to this mouse tab and then say uh, mouse movement left. I'm putting the speed to 50 because it's not too slow, but it also lets me do pretty accurate movement. I then did this for left, right, up, down, and that gives me full control over the mouse. Now to click the keys, I did a similar thing. I just uh, clicked what key I wanted for left click, which is this one, and right click, which is that one. And then I uh, double click, and then you can go to mouse and then say left and then right for the other one. Now another key feature of a mouse is being able to scroll. So I used the right stick as scrolling, as scrolling up, scrolling down, scrolling left, and scrolling right. Again, to do that, I just saw which one was getting highlighted, which were these four rows. And then right here on the wheel rotation, I can uh, set the toggles like this depending on what I want. I just set them all to 20 uh, in the correct direction. So with that, we have all of the mouse controls out of the way. Now let's move on to the second thing that would make a perfect controller, which is window control. So with an ideal controller, I'd like to be able to switch between tabs, switch between windows and move them all around pretty easily. Moving windows around, uh, we have that functionality already just with the mouse uh, or the mouse emulation we just made. But to switch between windows, I wanted to implement the alt tab functionality uh, with the triggers I have. So just like with the keyboard where you can press and hold down alt and then just tap tab to go and shuffle between windows, I wanted the same things but just with the triggers. So to do that, I just uh, checked which ones alt and tab were on Joydeki and then just assigned one to alt and one to tab. So when I alt tab, I can just switch between windows like that. I also wanted to switch between tabs really fast. So using the control shift tab and control tab shortcuts, I can go up one tab and down one tab. So as you see here, I use these bumper buttons right here 
uh, and I programmed them to control shift tab and control tab. So to make a button press multiple T's like control shift tab, you can go in here and then just put each button you wanna click uh, and it'll press and hold them from top to bottom. So right here, it'll press control, then shift, then tab when you press the key. So as you can see with these bumpers, I can go up and down through tabs as I want and it's really natural feeling. So now let's move on to keyboard control. So you could just use this as a glorified mouse, but I'd also like to use this as a keyboard since then you only need to have the controller when you're on the couch. So to do this, I wanted to have a button on the keyboard to automatically pop up the on-screen keyboard. Hey, me from the future here. Uh, originally, I said that you couldn't use the inbuilt on-screen keyboard that comes with Windows, but uh, turns out I didn't know that you can just use the shortcut Control Windows O uh, and it'll just pop it up like normal. So you can see here I'm using it and uh, I can type pretty well uh, just using the on-screen keyboard. So now let's move on to media controls. So for YouTube, a lot of the media controls can be done just by using the arrow keys. So to just skip back and forth in a video, you can use left and right. And then to raise and lower the volume, you can use up and down. So to do that, I just mapped up and down and left and right to the D-pad. However, I also wanted to incorporate uh, system-wide volume control and also play, pause, and previous and next. So to do that, I used a modifier key. So for our volume keys, what I wanted to do is be able to press this down and then use the analog triggers to uh, go up and down in audio. To do this, I went into the shift key uh, under special and changed this from none to joystick two. What this does is when your modifier key is pressed, it switches to the second joystick two profile right here. So now that I have that set up, I can go into joystick two and then set my buttons 11 and 12 to volume down and up. So as you can see now, when I press the mod key along with one of the triggers, it goes volume up and volume down. By the way, you can do all the media controls in the same way that you would assign F to this. Uh, you just press one of the media controls and it'll set it like that. I did the same thing with the media controls with the up D-pad playing and pausing uh, and then the left uh, going to the previous and the right going to the next. Finally, I also used this modification key to make the mouse go faster. So say if you wanna to get to the other side of the screen really fast, you can just press the modifier key and the mouse goes uh, twice the speed. So the way I did that is in this joystick two uh, layer, I just went here and then up the speed to 100 versus what it was before, uh, which was 50. I also bound this minus to switch between these profiles. So this is just the media control profile, but you can also create different pro profiles. So for example, this is a profile that I used for uh, one of the games that didn't support controllers. And you can just have as many as these as you want. So say if you're playing games on the couch, then you can start by just having the media control profile so you can actually navigate to the game. And then once you're in a game, you can have a specific control set that uh, maps the keyboard to the controller. Now that I've actually implemented this, I feel like this is exactly what I was thinking as uh, the perfect media controller. Using this controller to navigate around the PC gives me the same polished feel that I get from using uh, something like an Apple TV or a console. But the benefit is you get the full power of a PC, so you can do pretty much anything you want. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you try it out, please let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, like it, and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's all for today. See you.